Good evening, guys. I hope you've missed me. It's never stopped raining, guys. Trust me, I'm not lying. It's been unbelievable. It's getting towards six o'clock Friday evening. I thought I'd take a break. I flooded you with 23 videos in March. Probably got bored and fed up with me. This is the new development. The garden area is immaculate. It's almost finished. They say they're going to open the showroom in two to three weeks and you'll probably be able to go in within two months there. They start about £1,100. They have a lot of studios, uh, one, two bedrooms. It's owned by an American company apparently, 432 apartments, quite a mixture. Yes, it's about 62 degrees, you've got a strong breeze occasionally. I'm using the noise cancellation, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, because I do not have a gimbal, and I know you get bored with my gimbal <laughs> stories. And I thought I won't put the noise cancelling, um, sorry, the separate microphone on. Today I'm just going to try straight into the DJI Osmo Gimbal 3. It's on stereo, and... As I said, I've got noise cancellation on, so you won't pick up the background noise as much as you would. You see Hamptons there, a motor. I wasn't going to film tonight, but I needed to get out. It's never stopped raining, guys. And this is the area here, and the reception area. It's going to be quite a nice development, apparently. They let to 20%. That's the um, limit, students, in case you're interested. Uh, a small building there, and look at the top of this one. It said it's 34 floors. Let me go up for you. Look, right up there. It's amazing now. Within a couple of years, they built all this. 432, I think, apartments. They just showed me a studio one, 1100. 80% furnished, really large though, the kitchens are huge. So I'm going to have a look. If you get on the inside, they have that spectacular communal area. It's really large, I just showed you at the beginning. I can't get any closer at the moment. So, Cortland, Broad Street. Yes, two to three weeks they will start viewing and probably you get you in within six to eight weeks, I've been told. But honestly guys, you couldn't go out. I mean, I know I said last time, probably six months now. I, th I don't think I've ever been so depressed. I know we talk about our weather more than this year in my long, long life, winter. Very cold November and, and rain and just more or less six months now into this month of continuous rain. One of the wettest winters ever. It just has never stopped in this week. And the winds, oh my goodness. This occasional gust, it's even quite warm now. So that's just amazing. And this is the first time I've been out in a couple of days but I have been getting out in between the rain Moda Hamptons Hotel you know they are 1670 the last time I looked the apartments there guys they just keep going up one bedroom eight floor the lot I think they've got 16 available last time I looked £1,670 for one bedroom. That works out there. Um, I think it's 422 or 32 square feet. So it's £40 a square foot. You are renting one of those apartments. So you times it by the 
square feet and the rent, monthly rent. I, I did a calculation the other day, the one on the eighth floor, 1670, worked out 39 pounds 90 pence per square foot. I, I know it's not as high as New York, but isn't that unbelievable? Yes, I don't use the DJI a lot. Look, this is where we used to have the, um, oh, I can't even remember the name now, guys. Snobs. It's called Snobs now. It's a nightclub, isn't it? It's quite big, isn't it? We used to go there and we did a lot of filming last year. Do you remember the festival? You would look at my old videos. We filmed inside there, but as you know, it closed about six months ago. Now it's going to be nightclub called Snobs goes all the way down and there's two really beautiful I'm sorry I didn't show you them but you have seen them before up there Indian hotels Indian hotels <laughs> forgive me I'm out of practice Indian restaurants one of them you go down like into a dungeon I'm told and as you know, this is all coming down right the way down, right the way up to those new apartments up there. Not sure when. It's going to be quite a big development. Flats and uh, all sorts of things going on there. You can Google it. James would know. Yes, when I left here two years ago, I lived in a gold building. I mean, it was a complete nightmare, guys. The building work, and they were doing Broad Street, and I told you before, they've used our road outside our apartments. I just want to show you this TGW Transport House, the Union Building. Isn't it beautiful? I wonder what they're going to do with it. It's got to be a listed building. Nobody has been in there. I've been here seven years in May and I've never seen anyone in there it's been empty all that time this guy from the flats I just showed you oh look at that he said that they are going to be better than Moda but a lot cheaper and their one bedroom is going to be 12 1200 Thing with Moda, they just they didn't build a lot of studio apartments in there, and you can never get one. Okay, guys, Borelli, 24th floor restaurant. Here I am. They said I could probably film. I don't know if I can, but just switch it off, and I'll see you inside the restaurant, guys. Twenty-fourth floor, guys, Borelli. Isn't that beautiful? Imagine sitting there having dinner with your partner. Isn't that spectacular? Oh, you can see the octagon from here. Very beautiful. Cathedral looking magnificent. Church Street, the Grand Hotel, where King Charles stayed when he was just a prince. And even Tom Cruise stayed there. It's a beautiful hotel. I have taken you inside. Brindley Place and Colmore Row, my two 
Oh, and of course, I've got so many jury quarter favourite places in. Oh, and another one I've got, of course, Digba Custard Factory, and around there. We could have a little walk down there. Oh, the trams are back on, they were off for a week or two. No, nothing to do with this end, some work going on somewhere else, so they didn't come into Birmingham City. It's a 200 edition, I think they stay open quite late now. I've got a free coffee voucher, but I don't think I should have one now. Be foolish, wouldn't it? I do fancy sitting down there. Lovely coffee bar. This has not been taken over by anyone at the moment. It's been empty for quite a while. Prime Barn Restaurant. It's going to be a busy night. Beautiful area. Absolutely fabulous. And looking back on Colmore, 200 edition. I'm going to have a coffee in there and I'll see you in a few moments, guys. Bye bye. Snow Hill Station over there. It's done, I've done a lot of recording, guys, but I've deleted it. I'm sort of not sure what I'm doing at the moment. But I am going to London next Friday. I mean, I, I try to make it more interesting for my viewers. I went to London, as you know, just over two weeks ago, but they don't do very well. It was pouring with rain. It was a really difficult journey. I think the Trafalgar Square ones had 93 views, one of my v worst views of a video in over two years. It just baffles me to be honest. They always say thumbnail put in like Trafalgar Square, one of the most iconic places in the world. Doesn't make any difference. I don't understand the algorithms. But I'm going next Friday guys. Leave at 12, get there at 2. It's the long train. 2 hours two and 10 minutes. But coming back, I've got the fast train and that's... I don't mind the slow train going. It doesn't matter, you know, because you're going, you're sort of 10 minute walk from my flat to the station. I'm refreshed. But after being in London, probably just over six hours, walking around at least five of those, I am exhausted. I know it looks different, guys, in the daytime look. But I can't help it, it's after seven, it's still light. It's a lovely area there, isn't it, around here? This is for Holly, one of my fans. I don't know about fans. All my subscribers and viewers are wonderful. Apart from the odd one, and they're probably not the um, regular ones, they just... I don't know that, I think they scour the internet, don't they, and, and YouTube, and they just flush out certain people and uh, just send stupid messages. What a waste of your life. Yeah, so I'm coming back. I think it's about 8... 8.40, but it gets back 9.56. So it's really early. An hour and 16 on a train. It isn't, it's just nothing. You sit there, you might even take a coffee with you. Watch something on my phone and, and you're there. So I managed to do that. And it was £18.10. Amazing, isn't it? And I checked my last six visit to London last year and I added it all together and it was £18.10. pence. Oh no, it was 17.70 a journey return. Isn't that amazing? And this one's just £18.10, pence, but I'm getting the slow train back. Sorry, I'm getting the fast train back and the slow train there. So I'm really excited. 
Yes, we didn't see these guys for, I think it was a, almost a couple of weeks. Very squeaky. I've never sorted that out. I always thought it was the brakes, but I've noticed uh, it's only when they go round corners. So maybe it's just a sort of technical fault. I'm not sure if they still have conductors. I was told this year they are going to get rid of conductors and have the occasional inspector get on, would you believe, guys? Shouldn't tell you that. So, they have problems recruiting staff. I don't know if you use the trams in Birmingham to Wolverhampton, but many times they didn't have a conductor on there because they couldn't get them. I tell you, if I were young, I would have done it, guys. If my knees... I know it's the old if, but I would have, because I'm a worker, I've worked all my life, but I don't like not working. It's funny, I worked 51 years, almost seven days a week, and I'm thinking, well, you work till you're 67, why why you feel so unsettled uh, the last five years? Of course, we had COVID for three years. I wanted to take you in there, guys, but I can't go in there. Security is there. Great Western Arcade, opposite Snow Hill Station. That's unusual, I haven't seen security there for a long time. Got a lovely pub in there, beautiful bread collection here. So yes, I'm going back to London because I enjoy it. I'm not sure where. Oh, look at those meringues. Wonderful bread in here, guys. At the cop, white loaf or brown loaf. It's about £2.60 now, but it's worth it. Although I've got into brioche rolls for about the last six months. <laughs> They're not cheap. They work out about 47 pence each. But I just find, especially the sliced breads, so awful and, and bland. So it's a little mixture of various places today, guys, on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Not using... As I said, an external microphone, I'm just going to, so you will get it quite breezy, but I'm sure you don't mind. And I just had a cop, not a coffee, I had a chocolate there. Hot chocolate, £3.90, but I got a free voucher. And they put whipped cream on top and it's open 200 edition until 8 o'clock in the evening. A good cappuccino, £3.80. You can get a loyalty card and after nine cups, the tenth cup is free. What a beautiful dress she has on. So it takes a little bit off the price. It brings it down to about three, three pound, probably 37 a cup. So it's not too bad. They've gone up again, I noticed, everywhere. They just put the prices up, profiteering. A lot of that happened, didn't it, during, I don't know if it's the same. I think it probably is across the world um, since COVID. Which COVID? COVID started four years last January and even after three years, if you remember, they took a risk and thought, well, they weren't too sure what they were doing. So it cost three years of everyone's life if you adhered to the rules and regulations. But a lot of profiteering has gone on since then. It's just what they do. So I'm going to get across the road quickly before I get run over. <laughs> Bikes everywhere. I can't understand how if you want to hire one of those bikes, it's eight um, every, I think it's six pounds an hour. 
So if you went out eight in the morning till four, you would be paying quite a lot of money. Eight hours, eight sixes, yes. A lot of money, isn't it? 48 pounds, but you can hire one of those scooters. I think it's 10 pounds a day. Although I don't think I would risk it at my age because people do fall off them because of the small wheels. And my cycle days, I think, are over. I cycled a year ago and bearing in mind I've been a cyclist all my life and I could not believe how hard it was. When we had the slightest hill, I had to get off. It, it just... I, I just couldn't believe it. I suddenly got old. Well, there you know, I've got a treadmill and uh, I think I've had it, I'm into my seventh month now. And I've only missed the, um, like the six times I went to London, which is a 12, 14 hour day. Obviously not using it then, uh, those six times. And I think t when I came back from London, I had this dreadful cold for two days. That's it, apart from that. I've not missed a day in seven months and that's what I do you know I'm only doing 18 minutes a day you probably laugh but it's a good fast walk and then I have three minutes cooling down trust me guys I wouldn't be without a treadmill in my my house or apartment it's a 400 pound one it's Flylink Tech you can get it um, on Amazon for about 420 about 80 pounds off and it's all like semi-professional to be honest it, it's really high quality and it's just wonderful I love it and I would never be without as I say my treadmill I know a lot of old people use them and uh, I was saying to my doctor and they were saying well Bernard you know you don't realize how important the 18 minutes a day is to your body it's not cardiovascular work it's only 3.5 miles an hour i won't go into a run because my knees wouldn't last 30 seconds but it's a good workout and you feel good afterwards and i sit down for 10 15 minutes and you know you've had some exercise so that's what i do every day and i tell you because of the atrocious wet winter which i did mention earlier on I'm going to mention it again, almost six months of rain every single day. I wouldn't have gone out. I just would not have gone out hardly at all, apart from getting my food. So I would not have had any exercise whatsoever. So it's been invaluable. Yes, fully pedestrianised almost, guys. As I told you, just over there to be finished, that little bit over there. I'm not sure if you're going to get it on my other video, but yeah, it's supposed to be finished two weeks ago when I asked the supervisor. He said, oh, 10 days we're out of here, road fully open. But of course they took nonsense all the time. But if you remember this road, it's, it, it's stunning, isn't it? A little pokey road, narrow footpaths. It's absolutely stunning in the road over there will be finished in August see how many people outside and they used to have these but did have a lot of benches here as you know but hopefully you're going to put them back and the lamp that the idiot knocked over I know we visit it every time and I, I know you're bored with it the road sweeper yeah he knocked it over I saw it laying down it's huge one of those lamps Yes, this street over there, that'll be finished in August. It's one of those lamps there. Can you imagine if anyone had been under it? He was on the footpath and he didn't see it. <laughs> no, it's not funny because he's no longer a road He's He's been fired. I, I, I do feel sorry for him. But it's at the Lamb Hospital and it will be coming back. Well, I'm not sure when. I mean, that happened before Christmas. Flues is looking wonderful. Yes, two lamps there to go on. You can see the tops. 
I know she's spectacular at night. Oh, she's started to light herself up now. She looks very pretty already. Friday evening, Victoria Square. I think we can hear it. <laughs> you can't believe it, guys. Look, he's carrying it. I thought it was a suitcase, it's a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh my god. It's not a suitcase, it, it's a it's a speaker on wheels. It's a good job I don't have to worry about copyrights, isn't it? I mean, I get warnings, but I just, they, they, they always say, you have a copyright, and then, but this is not a strike. I think it's three strikes in your out, guys. So don't worry about it. Uh, the person who owns the music has given you permission. However, if there's any money to come from this video, you won't get any, and it doesn't worry me. I don't do it for money. And as I said earlier on, forgive me for repeating myself, I spent about £1,500 on audio, would you believe? And I got a stupid message telling me I need to sort my audio out. Can you believe that? Funny thing is, I played the video back he was talking about, and it was perfect with 30% volume on my phone, so it was just probably either going crazy or a wind-up I don't know and if it isn't a wind-up then I think you're talking a load of rubbish if you're going to send me another message but I wouldn't bother because I would delete it and if you say you're going to unsubscribe I don't care I spent 1500 pounds plus on audio I watched thousands of videos and I compliment thousands and thousands of messages to people across the world. I've never sent a horrible message to encourage young vloggers, especially new vloggers, and that's what I do because I know how hard it is out here. And I have to say though, majority of vloggers do not pay hardly any attention, if any, to their audio. That is incredible, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Well, tell me about this building, please, James. You know everything. Isn't that stunning? That's where we stand for the Gay Pride Day, because you get a good view of them coming from up there, and you can see the whole parade. And we know we get a few thousand views. And... It's quiet in this road. Well, not now. <laughs> Here comes the squeaky tram. So the apartments are finished there. Used to be a nightclub, apparently, guys. They've been on it forever. They are offering... Now they are uh, a month's free rent in there. I know I've told you before, but it's attached to this beautiful building here. Unfortunately, it's going to have to put up with noise opposite here because they haven't even started the hotel here. So it's three or four years probably of building noise. 
you also have the road down there, which is the most shocking noisy road. It's absolutely horrendous and just behind this building it's not very attractive and you will be looking back on this road anyway and it's called Paradise View. Lots of studios in there, very small, 1100 pounds, absolutely tiny, walk-in shower, first month rent free, uh, your water's free would you believe so you can have a shower as many times as you like electricity heating you would have to pay for and you get free Wi-Fi super Wi-Fi in there they are going to have a gym here and they are offering a three months rent guys but another warning they could have a concierge there on a Friday evening they go at five o'clock and they do not come back until Monday morning and I remember living at the bank, the same thing happened. We used to have a concierge go home at five. I think they have an all night one now. And you batten down your hatches and you wouldn't, you actually wouldn't. Trust me, go out of your flat until Monday morning and then you'd have to climb all over the rubbish and all the things that had gone on in the communal areas and the lifts and some smashed windows and you name it. Um, certain group of people so yeah so this is the road when I viewed it you wouldn't believe it I don't think she um, thought I came from Birmingham she told me this road is very quiet and I said oh please don't tell me that I actually live in Birmingham I come through here every day I do know the road oh it's not that bad she said listen guys it's like this 24-7 and and this is the back oh um that's funny there oh yes uh, i think the apartments i just take oh look you can see the grand central there but it's ideal for people who want that sort of living accommodation yes you see that's part of it there Par paradise and there so you haven't got a view there look you've just got this here and of course you've got the back of this road still so I wouldn't advise it guys personally but if that's what you want yes it's a walk-in shower on the left I like the walk-in showers lovely little bathroom tiny double bed on your right tiny living room I mean tiny and that's it but you'd have to pay, uh, as I said, your council tax. And you have to pay electricity, but not water rates or Wi-Fi. If you want to know more about it, it's called Paradise View. They keep phoning me, so I think they're struggling at the moment to rent them. Well, they have a roof terrace. One, two, three bedroom fully furnished. And uh, a lot of studios in there, guys, which will suit a lot of single people. Eventually, this is where the hotel will go. And the other one behind there will come down. And this is making progress 10 floor office building as you can see in the photograph there and the hotel I assume is the other building on our right so interesting I've got to get home I might take a short trip along the canals. Oh, God, yeah. oh, I go faster. I go faster. Oh. <laughs> Hello, are you okay? <laughs> yes, 
Yes, this road is very quiet, guys. Let me. I'm going to shut up for 30 seconds. The flats are there. On our left.